Yo, what's going on guys? Warcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're reaching out into Final Fantasy. I've played this game for about 100 hours. I've compiled the entire list of everything I've learned. I've researched the shit out of this game. And I'm going to be bringing you guys the best 5 tips I have for you guys to get from level 1 to 80 and no time flat. And the best thing is, you don't even need friends. <laughs> so, let's hop right into it. Okay guys, so tip number one is definitely going to be a preferred server. So a preferred server is essentially when you create a new character, you get double the XP earned and that transfer over all servers and a data center. So the difference between a data center and a server, if you're new, a data center, for example, I am North America, Ether, Primal, Crystal, all three data centers. Now beneath the data centers are the actual servers. Now within each data center, you can travel between any of the servers, but you cannot, however, travel from data center to data center to play through friends and such so kind of keep that in mind i'll kind of show you making a new character here what a preferred server actually looks like and this does vary quite a bit sometimes sometimes you'll go to create a new character and there's no preferred server and sometimes you come in there's three of them so it's just really the time of day and just whether you kind of get lucky or not so let's go ahead and acknowledge all this yada yada cool cool so, sample of magic, I always go with magic. So, over here to the right, anything with a star, as long as you create a character in the star servers, you're going to get double XP. And this is additive across the board, which means it does stack with other sources of EXP. So, the very first thing, definitely get into a preferred server. Okay, guys, so tip number two is going to be all of the gear exp boost that you can possibly attain low disclaimer a lot of these cannot be obtained anymore but i will leave a link in the description to this website instead of going through everything one by one but there's item buffs as you can see here a complete amalgamation of them i pre-ordered the uh, newest expansion coming out so i actually have the uh, the earrings that give you a 30 percent buff now, actually, no, it's not in these earrings. It's some other earrings. But, yeah, they give you a 30% buff until you're level 70, which really, really helps. So, I'll leave this link in the description. There's also free company buffs, preferred server bonus stats, which I've already covered. Food and rest buffs. So, the food and rest buffs we can go over here in just a little bit. But, essentially, you can buy these foods to give you an additional 3%. And also, when you're rested in a quote-unquote sanctuary, you do get a rested XP bonus as well. And that's pretty much all the major towns. You don't necessarily have to sleep in a bed or whatever. And then, last one's the armory bonus. And again, I'll leave all this in a link in the description. You guys can go through it to see what your finances are looking light so you can get as many of these items as possible again a lot of these you cannot really obtain anymore but i'll leave the link in the description nonetheless okay guys so tip number three is going to be your main and your job quest now if you just create a character odds are you've not leveled any of your job quests you know whatsoever so you'll have your main quest up here in the top left hand corner and then right below it you'll have your job quest your job quest will give you xp like quests pretty often like every five levels or so, it's a pretty decent amount of XP and they're really easy to complete. And you also have your main quest. Now, I do not try to crutch on these too much to level up because there's much better ways. So when you start off your character, you pretty much have to do the main quest scenario until you're like level 15 or so. So between doing your main quest scenario, your job skills, job quest, which will pop up right here, I would also suggest running Fates. Now, fates are like public events, and if you play Destiny, and they'll pop up as like a purple shielded icon when you're actually in the area, and it'll have a level requirement. Those do do give you a shit ton, an absolute metric shit ton of EXP as well. So once you're done kind of balancing out your scenario quests your job quests and fates up to level 15 that's where you can really expedite the process but if you just want to kind of just brain dead go through the levels as long as you do the main scenario quest you'll definitely get to level cap but there are a little bit better ways to go about that to kind of offset the uh, monotony 
monotony. Oh my god, I can't speak. You know what I'm trying to say. The monotonous English hard guys. What I'm trying to say, it's boring doing the main quest over and over. A bunch of fetch quests until you get like 60 and 70. But the next point I would like to talk about, tip number four, is utilizing this duty finder. If you're new to the game, it's kind of confusing. There's, there's a lot of tips the game gives you, and it doesn't really go too far into detail. But when I'm having a hard time finding something to do and just bore the main quest, I always go to the duty finder. And this is where all your dungeons are if you unlock them. This is where your PvP is, your your quote unquote raids. There's always shit to do here, and they typically give you a metric shit ton of EXP. Now, what I've been doing is doing the main scenario quest because you definitely don't want to fall too far behind on it. So, since I'm DPS, I pretty much have my queue for dungeons up 100% of the time. So, the amount of XP you get in dungeons is absolutely ridiculous. At level 15, you you unlock a Satasha. I'll never forget, the, my first time through Satasha, I only have one EXP item. You know, it, it's just the the ears for pre-ordering the, the newest expansion about to come out. And I went up, I shit you not guys, five levels just from that dungeon. It took like 10 minutes. Just five levels from that alone. So definitely run dungeons as much as you can. The monster XP it gives you is absolutely absurd if you have the correct gear. Don't forget to buy your food buffs as mentioned before. So more of the story. Main quest, dungeons. When you're in the dungeon queue, probably 10 to 15 minutes if you're a DPS, which I am. So during that time, just do your main quest, and you can pretty much rinse and repeat all the way up to level 80. It's very, very simple. If you want to do something different so you're not beating your head against the wall, there's always these uh, these market boards or hunt boards, they're called. You can do your, uh, your quartermaster... Uh, dailies, weeklies, or you know, whatever it's called. But yeah, it's tip number four and tip number five is probably the most important. Okay, guys. So tip number five, drum roll, please. With music and food. I'm not talking about food in the game. I'm talking about the actual music in this game. I can't tell you how tired of this i got like really quick like, like very playful music so the when you're grinding guys the very first thing you do is just completely disable the master volume hit apply put on pandora spotify whatever it may be and go grab you guys a, a snack like every five levels get up take a few steps walk around you don't need to be sitting in a chair all day it's do you amazing amazing amounts of benefits just being able to get up and walk around and just to offset some of the insanity from grinding. I know how terrible it gets. Once you get started on something, you just don't want to stop. But you got to take breaks. You know, you you, ha you have to bathe. You can't you can't smell all day like, like Asmongold, right? He doesn't take baths. But yeah, guys, it's been my top five tips. Please. I'm also new to the game, about 100 hours into it, but I've taken all the best tips and tricks I can from across the internet and try to compile them into a short, quick, easy five-point section just so you guys can follow along. You can do this completely solo. You don't need friends. Lord knows I don't have any friends. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. I'm a super PvP elitist, and for me to actually make this guide and come in this game and tell you guys it's not that bad is a huge deal. Usually I hate grinding. It's like the worst thing ever. And this game really doesn't even have PvP, but I'm actually enjoying myself and having a good time. So, please consider leaving the channel a like and a sub, but only do so if you appreciate the content. This has been Horcrux, and I will catch you guys.